A Prayer for Grieving Mothers by Emily Rose Massey, read by Leah Martin. Brothers and sisters, we do not want you to be uninformed about those who sleep in death, so that you do not grieve like the rest of mankind who have no hope. For we believe that Jesus died and rose again, and so we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him. 1 Thessalonians 4, 13-18 Although it's been almost seven years since my husband and I experienced the loss of the first child in my womb, my heart has recently been stirred to mourn with those who have walked through and are walking through the pain of losing a little one, no matter the age. Recently, I gave birth to our third child. When I was being admitted to the hospital, the nurse was asking me a variety of routine questions, one of which was, how many pregnancies have you had? When I answered off the cuff, this is my fourth, my first one was a miscarriage, she turned around from her computer, looked at me with the most compassionate eyes and said, oh, I'm so sorry for your loss. Her response moved me, and I realized that time in my life mattered then, and it still matters today. So much time has passed, and life continues on, that I don't think about it much. But I believe it is important to remember that was my first child. I don't know why women don't speak about loss or miscarriage much, or why we may feel like we don't have to mention it. But that kind response from my nurse really made me reflect and remember and want to talk about it and share that time in my life. I believe it's important to remind your heart that the life that was inside of you greatly mattered to God. And for whatever reason that we do not have to know, He needed them in heaven with Him instead of on earth. We must trust His sovereign plan is for our good and for His glory, even when it hurts so deeply. It's been said that grief comes in waves, and you need to give yourself permission to experience each wave as it comes, as you walk through the process. Yet we must remember that when it comes to grief, as believers, we stand apart from those without Christ. 1 Thessalonians 4, 13-14 encourages those who may have experienced the temporal sting of death to fix our gaze upon the life that is to come. As believers, we have a hope in Jesus that a resurrection of bodies awaits us in eternity. Let's read our verse again. Brothers and sisters, we do not want you to be uninformed about those who sleep in death, so that you do not grieve like the rest of mankind who have no hope. For we believe that Jesus died and rose again, and so we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him. I remind my heart of this great hope that one day, I will meet that precious babe that the Lord knit in my womb. So I pray for each woman who's experienced the kind of painful loss of a child, for the Lord to not only bring them healing and peace if the wound is fresh on their heart, but to encourage them to not be afraid to tell others about all their babies, both earthside and in heaven. Let's pray. Father, we pray for all the mothers who have felt the deep pain of miscarriage, stillbirth, and infant loss of their precious babes that were formed in their wombs, all for your glory. No matter how long their tiny hearts were beating, your plan for their precious lives had meaning and purpose. Letting go and trusting you during these times of mourning and great questions can be difficult. So we ask that you strengthen and renew their faith. 
that you will carry them through this trial. As the waves of grief come crashing in on them, remind their heart of the hope they have in Christ. Holy Spirit, help these grieving mothers to fix their gaze upon heaven, where the promise of eternal life awaits them. Give them a voice to share their story of your goodness and faithfulness during this difficult time. Thank you for bringing a peace that passes all understanding and healing broken hearts in your timing. In Jesus' name, amen.